Welcome to the family! Hey guys, you have my Gan, and today I'm going to show you my old Polly Pocket set versus a new one. We're going to start with the old one first. A few little tidbits though, this is more than one set. I think the set with the van had like one character and one or two horses, something like that, and then I bought the other sets with the horses. So these are a little bit special edition Polly Pockets from the normal ones you would get. I used to have a ton of them, but where I was keeping them got broken into multiple times while I was not around. I'll Obviously. <laughs> Knock on wood, because if I was around, who knows what would have happened. But I used to have tons and tons of the Polly Pocket compacts, but I think they've been stolen. So I'm just going to show you the one bit that I found that was still together, which is fine because it's my favorite bit. And I'm just going to take all the characters out for a minute and show you this traveling RV van. It's a horse trailer. And then it just folds open. It doesn't even like, there's no seal or anything. It just folds right open. And we've got the driver section, the horse section, and then the little kitchen living section for the dolls. There's one of the places you can stand a Polly. There is a peg, I think, for the horse. Yeah, I think the horses go on the pegs. And then little pegs for the drivers, even though they really don't need it because they fit right in there almost perfectly. There's our Polly Pocket retro symbol on the front. And I do have to preface this too, that unfortunately my husband ran these over. I had this stacked up in the garage after I reclaimed it and saved it. And he decided to knock this on the floor and pull in a car in a garage that doesn't take a car normally, so for no reason. And he had run over several things. I'm gonna show you, yeah, he ran over this one for sure, because you can see the saddle is all busted up and the hair, I believe, used to be all black on the top, but I can't remember now. And oh wait, this one has a year on it. What is the year? I can't make it out. 94. So these are from 1994. Show you the little horses have two sides. I'm not really sure why I have one horse that doesn't have a saddle. I'm not sure if that was from a different Polly Pocket set and I just, whoops, sorry, this black horse, this poor thing has been through all the trauma, but I'm not sure if I just had it from a different type of Polly Pocket set and put it in there. I, I don't remember, unfortunately, but there's our really tiny horses. Oh my gosh, I used to have en petite ponies and oh, I had all the cool stuff. I had all the littlest pet shop horses for a long time and this was in there, but I'm pretty sure this is a Steven Universe thing that just bounced in there because that looks like Rose's gym, but it's got a little peg, so, and it's kind of dirty in there, so I'm not positive. That could be a Polly Pocket thing, but it doesn't look like it to me. And yeah, my husband also ran over this light blue Polly with the hat. These are a little bit harder to show you because they're all in different directions. Each one of these girls has their own agenda. But yeah, you can see he smushed her hat. He scuffed her up real bad, just ran right over her because why pay attention? You're a man, why pay attention? The world is yours. Ugh. But you'll notice these little circles in their booties and that's because these specific Polly Pockets, instead of bending up and down, you can actually open their legs and they can ride the horses. Yay. Yeah, this one he ran over her legs don't open as well anymore either. Thanks, husband. He swore he was gonna make this up to me. Do you think he made it up to me? Nope, never tried, never did a thing because men. And there we go. There's our little tiny set. Man, I just wish I had at least one of my normal Polly Pocket compacts so I could show you what the old ones look like. They were so cute. Like I had this one that was like a frost ball. I had like a carnival. I had like the house. I had like, I don't know, like probably 10 of these things. But I did like this one the best. I do remember I was obsessed with the horse one because it was just so different. So I'm so thankful that this one didn't get taken like everything else. And I'm not positive, but I'm gonna take a guess that this came out towards the end of the Polly Pocket reign because that's when companies started trying different things to keep the franchises alive. You know, Puppy Surprise turned into Kitty Surprise, Horse Surprise, Bear Surprise. Littlest Pet Shop became Littlest Pet Shop Zoo or Littlest Pet Shop SeaWorld. So it happens a lot, but I did happen to find on clearance a modern Polly Pocket set. So I wanted to do a comparison of how the girls are now versus then. So let me just scooch everybody over. Please don't fall. Ah! You know what? They're gonna fall. 
they're just gonna fall. So we're just gonna make them all fall over and scoot. All right, so this is the Polly Pocket Safe Freeze Frame. I don't really know if that is particular to a series or if this is just one random thing. It is not a compact, but it was on clearance for like a dollar at my Walmart. So I said, yeah, why not? I got a Polly video I need to do, might as well. Polly Pocket. Okay, we've got some stickers. Yeah, stickers! I have never seen stickers held in with these little tabs before. Like, that's new to me. So it's something that it has smart sticks, so we'll see what that means. Okay, so this is our little frame box. You can put your own photo back in here or face it this way, whatever makes you happy. And there is a window here so your dolls aren't gonna fall out on you. Whoop. Speaking of which, what are you? We've got a little tiny box. It has to open this way. Ah, there it goes. Okay, it's just an empty little tiny box. Then we have, oh, there's a puppy. I didn't even notice. The puppy is so small. Look at that. I feel like I can't even adequately show you this puppy. It's so teensy. Can you stand up, puppy? Oh, no, nope. no, you cannot easily. Nope. All right. Well, is what it is. Let's get these poly friends out. Ooh, they're all rubbery. Interesting. So here is our gang. Like I said, they're all rubbery, but they don't bend or stick in any way like the Polly Pockets did before. So it's not like you can't make them lean over or open their legs, at least not permanently. You can't put them in a peg because they have these rubbery feet. So I hope that this is what the normal Polly Pockets are like now, but I'm not sure. Let's see if we can figure out what the smart stick is. Oh, okay, yeah. They kind of just like stick to the frame here. Kind of like, a magnet almost, but I don't think it's magnetic. Nope, oh, she does not want to stick. So we'll use you to use this comparison. I don't know what the box is for. It's like a present that you can't open. This little puppy does not want to stand. Maybe he'll stand up here. Nope. Nope. Tried and tried. The puppy won't have it. All right. So let's just do a little comparison between the old and new Polly's because even though this one bends the legs instead of at the waist, it still looks very much like the other Polly pockets. The body is just a little bit different, but I can see the newer ones are a good bit bigger, really. I I mean, the originals are about the size of your thumbnail, or at least your thumb to your knuckle, and these are uh, about 50% bigger, I'd guesstimate. But yeah, she's really rubbery, and old Polly is hard plastic. Nothing sticks on this Polly. This Polly can have her feet together to make a peg. And it's not even that, oh, you know, this one's better than this one, or vice versa. It's just how different they are and how much they've changed over the years. That's what I find really interesting. But they're both super cute. Like, this one has a lot lot more detail on it. You can tell that technology for making toys has come a long way. Her shirt is very detailed. Her face is very, very detailed. And even her hair has a lot of textury bumps. And this one does have like texture in the hair too, but you can tell it's like somebody took the mold with like a toothpick and just scrape, 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 scrape and made little hair bumpies. So this one looks really good, but I think this one's still really cute and nostalgic and I like it. But you know what? They're going to be friends and they're going to hold hands because that's that's what buddies do. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching me be absolutely silly. You've been listening to McGann. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that fun stuff. And we will see you next time, family members. Bye! If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more and let us know in the comments what other toy videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fan Girl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!